Hello everyone, and welcome to a guide for Yumiko. Now, I know what you're thinking. Furry. Now, I see your point there. I mean, look at her. But in my defense, how many furries think they are 537 years old? <laughs> God damn it. So, our uh, furry friend here is actually a very interesting legend in Brawlhalla. Her sigs are pretty situational, but they can be used for nutty ass plays. But holy shit, she is hard to actually be good with. I mean, I was still able to hit platinum with her pretty easily, but that's not that much of like a, a, an achievement. Uh, and I didn't know what the hell I was doing, frankly. I just spammed random shit and hoped it worked, and it worked. So, there you go. Yumiko's strong suits include insane sig strength powerful weapons, and widely appeal to weebs and furries alike. They seem to colorate what waifu? I mean, I, I guess if you find sexual appeal in a 500-year-old wolf spirit, sure, to, to each their own, I guess. Yumiko's skins are default Yumiko, Weeaboo 1, Weeaboo 2, best skin Yumiko, and also really nice skin Yumiko. I'm not really creative with these names this time, but then again, I was never creative with the names in the first place, so why do I even bother? Yumiko's lore is indeed lore, and it is also indeed words on a page on a video game. Like, I don't even know why I talk about the lore in these videos. Literally nobody cares, and even if you do, then you'd probably read it yourself. So go ahead and do that. I don't care. I'm not reading it for you. Yumiko has four attack, seven dexterity, four defense, and seven speed. Use defense stance because this guy said so. Yumiko uses a bow and a hammer that are named Kami, 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 Kami Bow and Talisman, <laughs> respectively. Yumiko, Yumiko, I spelled that Yumiko on my script. Yumiko has some really nice sigs that have quite a bit of string potential, as I've already said, but I need to say it again because I'm a stupid cunt. However, they're very easily punished. So you gotta be careful when you're using them. Or, you know, just don't use them at all. You're you're in playing in a tournament and you're a freaking bitch. <laughs> what an idiot. First, we're gonna talk about hammer. Yumiko's neutral sig is sick as freaking hell. You know what I'm saying? It has a huge hit area and flings her asses to the other side of the planet. You usually want to why did I sound like Okay, that's weird. You usually want to use a sig for edge guarding as it's the only time it knocks them back in a useful manner that doesn't just bounce them around. You can also sig in the opposite direction of the ledge to bait out like their dodge because they're, oh yeah, they're gonna dodge me. Nah, I get psyched, idiot man. You're now dead because you're a freaking frick. Uh, so yeah, there you are. Uh, here are combos for neutral sig. Well, strings if you're not a piece of shit that has to call them by the specific name. Oh, string combo, there's a difference. Yeah, honestly, suck my dick. Nobody cares. Yumiko's side stick has a long ass range and does some pretty good damage. It also knocks people back quite a bit, and I use it for ending for a lot of hammer strings when I believe the enemy will back off, like with their dodge, instead of just spot dodging. You can also use it off the edge and hit someone in a somewhat unexpected manner, as you don't really, well, no, you just frankly don't lose height when you use the sig, uh, so you can catch the mid jump and shit. I don't know. I've done it a couple times, it's pretty sick. And it also flings them across the map and usually dies if they're pretty low health. So there you are, and here's a few combos with the side sig. The side sig is the reason why Yumiko was so damn nunny in the first place, and why she can be so toxic. <laughs> The down sig has a lot of string potential as it knocks him up perfectly to combine other shit together. It can also be used quite well to ledge guard. Here are some things I like to do with the thing. Yeah, you, you got it, you got it. They're strings, okay. Gameplay-wise, Hammer is a very slow but hard-hitting weapon, and your only piece of combo potential comes from the pathetically small downlight. Because of this, you're going to go for one or two hits at the most, for the most part. Wow, okay. <laughs> you're going to want to get as many side down and neutral airs as possible, as they do a shit ton of damage and knock their ass very far away, and just frankly has a bunch of kill potential. Hammer is also very strong at the edge, so, t show, okay. so take advantage of that shit as much as you can. If someone's on the ledge, Challenge that unless you know they're really good on the ledge or they're going you're going against like gauntlets or 
a scythe where it's like kind of an equal game there well more scythe than gauntlets for sure though but you know still go for it if you're confident in your ability i guess uh so there you are if someone is in range of your downlight or even neutral light i guess uh use that shit because that's like the only way you're gonna get a nutty ass combo off so yeah i'd practice those sigs practice the situation when you use the downlight and yeah there you are hammer <laughs> now to bow hello uh so i didn't want to edit uh the the sig things anymore so we're, we're doing it live baby I, I don't know it's just not fun it's 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 like my least favorite part is doing the freaking move things because they're so tedious so we're just doing the bow normally plus there's not that many combos so it's fine okay so first one like every every freaking bow on the planet uh just that and then that side light that boom just like that and then you can also uh do and let's move you over a little bit, yeah. Oh, or not, if you're stupid like me. Like that, if they're gonna dodge like that way, downwards. That, that is what, but usually I'd wanna like use that move. So like, boom, 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 you know? Actually, I should go over what the moves are in the first place. So you got neutral sig, you got side sig, and you got down sig. You become the fire there, as a explosion at the end there. Uh, let's see the damage. Does does around 21 damage. What about right here? 23. So the closer you are, it the more damage it does. So like there's 23, and then if it goes to the way end, why would you just attack? Oh, um, or there to the end, you do a little less. It's not noticeable enough, I don't think though. So there you are, and neutral sig works very similarly. It's so that's 20. It does a little more damage, it seems though. Yeah, see, does more damage like that. It drags them along, so, but it, it once again, it doesn't do enough damage for it to really matter. Okay, uh, next up, to do, do, like that. You can also do this, like dash forward, and then do that. Though, to be honest, now it's not too useful, because I don't know anyone that touches downwards to this. Actually, that might be a good, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it, I've had it work, but it's not doesn't work all the time. I guess is the best way I can put it. Uh, you can also recover from the side with neutral sig, which if I can do it correctly, there you are. Which is a little bit better than a dodge. Oh, I'm just gonna kill myself. Good job, me. I am very good at video game. Can I just like have my dodge? Can I? Can it let me dodge? What? Oh, I have a timer now. Okay. Yeah, it's a little higher than the normal thing. So, there you are. You can also, like, do this and... Oh, <laughs> completely fail at it, I guess. Uh, you can do, like, the standard combo. And then, boom. Gravity cancel to that if they're dodging upwards. Or you can just do the... Well, I just added another thing there. Or you can just do a recovery, which is probably a little bit easier to land. Because, like, the gravity cancel adds some extra time to the hit frames or whatever what well, the hit frame but the dodge frames uh so yeah unless they're or they can if they dodge to the right you'll also hit it uh if they go down you know like that except i just yeah but it's really hard to time and it's not very practical and i'm just doing that for shits and giggles to be completely honest uh let's see oops oh my god that's awkward okay I guess like on the on the land there you can also do that to kind of string something together or if they dodge up that is what you would do there, there's just really not that many sigs to be on uh, strings to be honest with though you know like you got that kind of deal um oh wait the the important part down sig that yeah yeah I, that's that's true right there that's always true and that does a shit ton of damage too the only problem is that down sig is so freaking useless it's crazy because look how do you dodge that huh you jump and then you got a down light especially bow and shit like that that is just perfect for punishing you you know boom the end because look how fast that shit is like there's no way so unless you're really safe or you're over the ledge because that's also pretty useful to do and then like whenever they're trying to avoid it you can like pew, you know or just whatever you can just do a lot of shenanigans with that shit like 
Bow is just a really spammy weapon where you just spam the same like shitty combos over and over and they're basically too true. Uh, so unless the person really knows what they're doing and then you're gonna have to mix it up a little bit, uh, you can get, do a shit ton of damage. It's not that hard. Bow is really quite easy. It's pretty easy on the, the scale of difficulty. And meanwhile, Hammer is, in my opinion, pretty difficult. I mean, I suck ass at it still. It's, it's okay. I mean, I mean, I, I think I'm okay at Hammer, but not the best. So, yeah, you can probably do some, like, throw shenanigans too. So if they dodge, like, there, you can probably do a diagonal thing. Yeah, and hit them. So you can do some shit like this. Oh, or I'm gonna miss it. Oh, that's awkward. <laughs> Like dodge into that. I don't know. I just made this shit up on the spot. Yeah, there you are. <laughs> I don't know in what situation that'd be useful, but you can go ahead and try it. It's mainly strings. Oh, and another thing. Yeah, as I said, that's really nice as well. Especially if you're like right here. You know, you can just go straight to the the edge without sticking around, like going closer. It's it's a little different. So I mean, it'll probably get you killed if you like use it without like being sure you won't get killed. But Nonetheless, it is a thing that you can indeed do. It is more useful in the air, but it requires an insane amount of skill that I just do not have to really show you that you can do that. It, yeah, you gotta, you gotta like, like seriously calculate shit. But it's really nice for the range, all of the sigs. You, you don't really string them though. It's, it's only, it's only like that or dodge forward if they dodge back, which I probably would do against bow combos to be honest, even though I shouldn't. What you should do against this is spot dodge, honestly, except if they hold it down, then they counter you once again. So, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's all mind games going against Bow or going, playing as Bow. And it's easy, so it's great. It's a great way to get into Yumiko, though she's still very difficult. So, yeah, good luck, good luck. You're gonna have to be like level 40 <laughs> to even start doing some like crazy shit. And I'm not even close to level 40, because. You know, it's a guide. This isn't me mating Yumiko, because honestly, like, I'm not too into her, to be honest. But why am I talking anymore? Nobody gives a shit. The end. Okay, so we're in some games. Um, I'm pretty low elo right now, to be honest. So it's gonna be hopefully easy, but like, I swear to God, gold players are better than platinum in, in skill. I like, I, I'm, I'm not even like joking. I have an easier time winning in platinum. I don't know why, maybe it's like the mindset or something. Maybe it's the freaking like unpredictability of people like just kind of spamming random shit. But like, I don't know. Anyway, um, quick update on Brawlhalla guides. I'm probably going to take a break because I could have uploaded this like a couple days ago, uh, but I didn't want to edit anymore because I was just sick of Brawlhalla. Oh my god. I feel like I'm smurfing because it's just like, I don't know, I feel like my smurf is actually high elo. Like, I'm, that's not even a joke right now. <laughs> oh shit. No, not working, bud. I'm sorry, but I'm not gonna fall for that shit. I've had Mordex mains all day, dude. But yeah, what I was saying, um, yeah, I, I just kind of have a burnout with this game where I just get like really mad and like I'm not having any fun right now. And it's probably because, like, I don't know. Cause I feel like the only reason I'm playing this game right now is to get YouTube subscribers cause it's what gets views a lot of the time. And I don't know, something about that just kind of, <laughs> I don't know. This game is best played in short, uh, not short bursts, like in between breaks, I feel like. Cause then it's fresh and new and not just the same like spammy bullshit. I mean, I feel like the people who complain about this game are bitches. The game just makes you mad and yeah, as someone that generally doesn't get too mad in video games, unless to be funny, um, I get mad a lot, so it's kind of, yeah, it's, so like I just don't really, I'm not into the game anymore, especially getting the gameplay footage was rough for this, or just learning Yumiko because I'm just awful at her, and I lose so much elo, that makes me mad, even though it should not matter to me, it does for so re some reason. Because I feel like I'm just off of the game if I'm not platinum at this point. Since, you know, I was used to being platinum. I don't know. I mean, I hit platinum in the beginning of the season, and now I just can't get that. Because I just am so angry all the time with the game, dude. I just... Like, the only time I have fun is when I'm recording just games like this. I'm just having, you know, gay old time. It's kind of more fun, to be honest, just playing against people who are not as good. Because then I can actually commentate and get utterly dicked on. <laughs> that was that's funny. 
Whatever. I'm just giving her a false sense of hope. No! <laughs> She's so freaking low. What the? F okay. Okay. Good shit, dude. Good shit. You earned that. I feel like I want to get better at, you know, guides before I make one that's like on a character that's like really popular. Because, you know, because my Ember guide has like 5,000 views on it and it's like so bad and it makes me really mad. Okay. It's a core, which I really hate to go against. I don't know. Because gauntlets, mainly. I just dislike going against gauntlets. I don't know anyone who likes going against gauntlets, so. Besides people who play gauntlets, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I, I think I should learn a gauntlets character, though. Just. Or Mirage. Holy shit, bud. Calm down. Like, this is what I'm talking about. Like, silvers are. So, are not silver. <laughs> like, golds are so much better than, like. You know, platinums. I don't know why. And I did not think that was gonna hit me. What? I. I stopped my thing though. I don't understand. Oh my gay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What do you think you're doing there? Buster? What do you think you're doing? Yeah, yeah, see how, like, that dog shit the freaking that SIG is? Got him. Nope. Not gonna kill. Of course you want gauntlets, because you're. <laughs> no way! Okay, good. <laughs> there we are. Later. Oh, one more damage too. I am the superior player. Anyway, that was the most fun I've had with Brawl Hall up for a hot second. So maybe I should just record like the entirety of me trying to freaking like play a character. I think that's the way to way to go. And next person, we'll decide right now based on random. Sir Roland. Okay, next one, Sir Roland. <gasps> no, I'm in a game. <laughs> Later, dude. Okay, feels good, man. Feels good to win. GG, bro. GG, bro. Okay, well, thank you very much for watching, and <laughs> I'll see you next time. Bye bye. <sighs>